Hello guys, welcome to the vlog. Today I'm going to be reading a book called El Perro con Sombrero. It's in English and Spanish, but the title is in Spanish. So then I'll translate it. The dog with a hat. Okay, and it's um, a bilingual doggy tail. And um, it's illustrated by Jed Henry. And I think it's um, the author is Derek Taylor Kemp. That's a person who wrote the book. And Jed Henry illustrated the book. So, without further ado, let's read. El perro con sombrero. Dog with the hat. That's the cover, so. I read this book. Betel dog. It says Betel. In English, it's a dog. Sombrero. Ha. El perro con el sombrero. A library, a bilingual doggy tail. <laughs> um, written by Derek Taylor Kemp, illustrated by Jed Henry, translated by Gabriel Gabriela Ravilla Lugo, Henry Holt and Company, New York. was a very sad dog. He had no home and no family to love him. Pepe era un perro muy triste. No tenía ni hogar ni familia que lo quisiera. Okay. Next page. Oh, Okay, next page. One day, Pepe was begging for food on the street when a sombrero full flew off the balcony and landed right on his head. Un día Pepe estaba pidiendo comida en la calle Cuando un sombrero salió volando de un balcón y le cayó en la cabeza. He looked so handsome in the sombrero, a gro grocer gave him a, gave Pepe a juicy bone. Yum! Spanish. Espanol. Se veía tan guapo con el sombrero que un O de Guero le dio un hueso delicioso. Un hueso delicioso. Un hueso delicioso. ¡Qué rico! Illustration really quick. Then a moving director drove by in an expensive car. He shouted, Cool! A perro in a sombrero. You must be in my movies. Un director de cine pasó por Ali and un carrero luyoso. Y gritó, 
Genia, Genia. Un pelo con sombrero. Tienes que aparecer en mis películas. star of many great films. Pepe se volvió estrella de cine. He played a cowboy dog. Hizo el papel de un perro vacuero. He played a romantic singer. Hizo el papel de un cantante de boleros. In a comedy, He even ate a habanero, habanero pepper, habanero pepper. En un comi, comedia hasta se comió un chile habanero. He made a lot of money. He saw mucho dinero. What I under don't understand, he's a dog. A dog. I understand that a dog can be in a film or movie, but, or in a episodes, but not going to get rich. A dog can't. Book a flight to Hawaii. I forgot to show you the illustration, guys. Okay. Let me show you this page. Yeah, illustration. Good. That's not it. Right. That's the first page. Jalapeno pepper. So he's like in Hawaii or something. And a romantic singer. I'm going to pause the video and read it if you want. Okay. Illustration. Just the illustration. There we go. There we go. He has a mansion. How does a dog get a mansion? No, that's a little. Looks like a mansion, but it's actually a little puppy house. Okay. But he was still sad because he didn't have a family. Pero. Aún estaba triste porque no tenía familia. Lying in his dog mansion, Pepe had no one to pet him and hug him. Only his adoring fans came, gave him comfort. Um, acostado en su mansión, Pepe no te tenía Nadie que lo abraza, solo sus admiradores le brindaban consuelo. But someone did not like Pepe. El gato en zapatos pero había alguien que no quería no quería a Pepe Le, el gato con zapatos gato zapatos el gato con zapatos Long page right now. I don't care. El gato en zapatos was the biggest star in the world before. El perro en sombrero came along. He was a very jealous kitty cat. 
I should be the number one star. That dog would be nothing without that silly sombrero. Spanish point. El gato con zapatos era la estrella de cine más grande del mundo antes de que llegara el perro con sombrero. Era un gatito muy celoso. Yo debería ser la estrella más grande. Esa, pero no sería nada sin esa tonto sombrero. The next day, el gato en zapatos snuck into Pe Pepe's dressing room and stole his sombrero. Spanish. Al día siguiente, el gato con zapatos se metió en el camerino de Pepe y le robó el sombrero. This one is not on the other tape. Yeah. Pause and see what there is. Anything to read? Oh. I lost the page. Okay. Right here. When Pepe arrived, Devlin asked, Where's your sombrero? Cuando Pepe llegó a trabajar todos, le preguntaban, ¿Dónde está tu sombrero? Then Pepe saw el gato, el gato, and the zapatos was escaping through the back window. Pepe vio al gato. El gato con zapatos se estaban escapando por la ventana trasera. Pepe took off after him. Run, Pepe, run! Pepe salió corriendo tras él. Corre, Pepe, corre! Pepe chased the sneaky kitty through the busy streets. Pepe corrió tras el gatito bandido por las calles policiosas. Through markets, por los mercados. Through the um, cinema. Through movie theaters. Por las cines. Through weddings, por las bodas, through parades, por los desfiles. Oh, illustration part. <coughs> Pause and read if you want, but it might be backwards. Again. Soon Pepe cornered el gato in a playground sandbox. Give me back my sombrero, Pepe barked. Pronto, Pepe se encontró con el gato en la caja de harina de un parque. Devuelve mi 
devuélveme mi sombrero, lardo Pepe. But then the little girls, oh, look, Papa, a lost dog. Pero justo entonces una niña habló. Mira, Papa, un perro perdido. Pause and read if you want. Pause and read if you want. Peppa turned and saw a whole family. Peppa se volteó y vio, y vio a toda una familia. Um, Mother, father, daughter, son. Madre, padre, hijo, hija. Pause and read if you want. Oops. Pause and read if you want. It might be backwards, but you won't. You know, I said that. That's what I'm on you, so you don't. Okay. Can we keep him? Ask the daughter. Nos puedos. Quedar con él? Pregunta la hija. He can come with us only if he wants to. Solo si él quiera venir con nosotros, dijo su papá. Pepe looked at el gato los zapatos Danilo Pepe Femi. Pepe miró a la gato con zapatos y luego a, hacia a la familia. Stop and read if you want. Oops, I slipped to the end. We're not at the end, guys. Don't go. Sombrero, said Pepe to, to El Gato. Then he jumped in the arms of Small Girl. Quedate, quedate con el sombrero, le dijo Pepe al Gato. Después salto hacia los brazos de la niña. And read, but it might be backwards. Go back, but I don't want you to read it, so I won't say that anymore. The family took Peppa home. They pet him and hugged him all day. And then they struggled with him at night. La familia se llevó a Pepe a casa. Lo Acaricallaron y lo abraza, abraza, ab, abrazazón. What happens to el gato? ¿Qué pasó con el gato? Pause and read if you want. But... It, might not be backwards. Three more pages. Tres more páginas. There he is. Looking longingly through the window. Allí está. Mirando con Angelo por la ventana. So the family adopted him too. Now they were a big Happy family. Pues la familia decidió adoptarlo también. Ahora es una familia grande y feliz.
I'll do a new read if you want. It might not be that words. Yeah, it won't say that either. Um, pause the music if you want. Eh. Backwards, probably. Pero, zapatos. El pero con zapatos. Gato, sombrero. El gato con sombrero. And Pepe was the happiest dog in the whole world. Y Pepe fue el perro más feliz del mundo. For my best buddy Xander and every dog in need of a home. Para mi mejor amigo, Xander, y cada perro que necesita un hogar. D-T-K. You can stop and read this part, but it may be backwards. What I, like it, what I like about this story is it teaches you to not steal things. Well, that's what I think. So, you might not agree. Hope you enjoyed. And.